Hey, good morning, City of Santa Clara. My name is Howard Salamanca, and I'm the Acting Principal Engineer of Water with the Water and Sewer Utilities. And today is Friday, August 30th, 2013, and we are here at the city's corporation yard. We're at 10 a.m. this morning. In about 25 minutes, we're going to be taking down the Walsh Elevated Storage Tank, which was constructed back in 1964. It is a 500,000-gallon tank uh, made of quarter-inch thick steel, and it's right now structurally unsafe, and which is why we have to take it down under with a controlled fashion. Some information on the tank, it is about 90 tons, about 170 feet tall. When we put this project out to bid, I had an idea of how the project may go. I was thinking the conventional way was just to have somebody go up on a crane and start cutting up the tank piece by piece using you know big cranes and lifts and all of that. Um, when the lowest bidder, uh, which is Evans Brothers Incorporated out of Livermore, California, they put in a low bid of $180,000, they told me that they had a kind of a trick up their sleeve, that something kind of out of the box. And when they proposed to me that they were proposing to fall down the tank, I thought this is pretty crazy. But after reviewing the plan, um, and they call it a controlled directional fall, um, they do cuts in specific places to when they start pulling the tank, it's gonna fall in one direction and, and one direction only. As you can see back there, they've already cut a couple legs. Two of the legs have been cut off at approximately 45 feet from the ground level. They've also weakened two of the front legs. And what's going to happen is as the tank falls, the tank is going to fail off that front leg. The two back legs are going to stay in place. So there's a tractor at the very back. When it starts pulling the tank, the tank's going to have to come in this direction. And it's going to fall towards on front of its, basically its weakened front legs now. And we're ready to take this thing down at 10 a.m. today. So I hope you enjoy the show.